Well, hello everyone. It's Angela with Mystic Moon bringing you guys another reading today. So the topic for today is called Karmic Justice. Are they sorry for hurting you? So this is going to be the scene that we're going to set just so you guys know what my intentions are going into this reading. This is going to be about a situation where you had a romantic past with someone and at some point something went down. They did you dirty, did you wrong, whether you guys had a falling out through a misunderstanding or a betrayal. At the end of the day, you got hurt. So there's definitely hurt feelings here. And we want to know if they are sorry for hurting you. So we're going to definitely do a deep dive into this person, your situation, and just basically get all, you know, just the details here. So just take what resonates, get rid of anything that doesn't. All the decks I'll be using here today will be listed down below as well as this beautiful organite here. So let's go ahead and get started. So I love to use Fire Witch Tarot's decks. I like to combine them into huge chunks. So this is going to be perfect for us basically seeing what went down with your person. I already shuffled off camera, but I just wanted to give him a few little shuffles still. All right, let's see. What do we need to know? There's probably like eight different decks here, so I like to try to get one from each deck. All right, let's see. What went down in the past between you and your person? Let's look at this. We have bleeding heart. Too much sympathy could work against you. All right, you guys, I feel like that is you. You're that bleeding heart. Very, very kind, very giving person. And it could be that this um, individual took advantage of your kindness. They may have mistaken it for weakness. You were too kind and giving. That's not really a fault of your own, but it could be if this person is dysfunctional and toxic. Maybe that is just not something that does it for them long term. It might have been something where it was like, wow, you treat me really good. I'm used to people that treat me like trash and they tell you how great that is only for a couple of months to go by and it's like they're craving that shitty behavior and that shitty treatment I mean if you've got unhealed wounds that's what's going to happen so I just take that if it resonates for you let's see what else we have slipped away yeah so this person could have ghosted you or this person could have really just like slipped away kind of i don't want to say casually because it could have been really abruptly but to me it's like not giving you a lot of information really trying to deliberately like not have that final conversation this person could have maybe broke things off with you through a text really candy ass way to go about things to me weak um somebody that didn't want to face you you know face to face they couldn't handle it and uh yeah so i mean it could also be that they didn't want to hurt you but to me i feel like it ended up hurting you anyway because you're the one with that bleeding heart your heart is bleeding over the situation the way that this inf um, individual exited your life they could have also slipped away with someone else unfortunately i hate that but that card does show two people that are going off off together so you could have found out after this individual left or ended things with you that they were just off to the next thing shitty but it could have happened all right you guys let's go ahead and get another make believe and it just left you feeling like what the hell happened did i even know this person did i make it up I feel like you guys, seriously, you were either gaslit or you were just majorly gaslighting yourself. Like you, you went through over and over in your head, um, about just all the different things and you question, well, why did this person do this? Like, well, they said this and they did that. So I just kind of thought that we were going in this direction and I just am so confused. I don't understand. So I'm literally reciting that right now because that's what I'm getting for how you guys might have felt just completely freaking bewildered. Like I'm just shaking my head right now. Just like, I don't even understand. Like there's no words. It doesn't make sense. Make it make sense, right? That's what I'm getting for your situation with this individual. It was pretty like mind blowing when it was all said and done. Yep, there it is. See, disappearing act. So somebody could have just straight up ghosted you, which is, you know, it's pretty terrible. No explanation. Um, but I do feel like this individual was a little bit of a coward and just didn't want to face you or face up to the fact that maybe they led you on, said certain things, made you believe something that wasn't true. So it was just easier for them to just get the hell out of Dodge real quick. So this could have happened very quickly almost like overnight one one day one things were great and then 
the next day, it's like, what the hell just happened? How do we go from point A to point B so quick? All right, let's see what else. Let's see. Silencing phone. Interesting. Ooh, that's... <laughs> That is one of the telltale signs that something's going on um, when you've got someone right next to you and you know that like, why is their phone off? <laughs> yeah, been there. I've been there. I've had that done for me. You're just like, that's kind of interesting why this person's phone is going off at like three o'clock in the morning. That's very interesting. And then you notice that their phone is just off the whole next day. What's that about? You know, makes you think. So there could have been some phone stuff going on where this individual is like, you know, I mean, people have locks on their phone, but it was just something that happened where they didn't have a lock on their phone, but then they suddenly do, or their phone's usually on, or it's on, you know, like the ringer's on, but now it's suddenly on silent or it's just completely off. So that could have started happening which made you feel a little weird and suspicious like what the hell okay we have under spiritual attack so what i'm getting here is that with this snake energy here it's kind of like you know um garden of eden you know evil and all that stuff that's just the metaphor for this particular card where it's just like the snake um, in the story, you know, ha ma or not makes, but tells Eve to eat the apple and she's not supposed to. So it's like this forbidden type of thing. I do feel like there was a situation where this person was under some sort of attack. Now we're not making excuses for them. Hell no. We're not, we're not saying that someone had control over them, but I am definitely getting this, um, very seductive type of person around them that is trying to get their attention that they're they're going for that they're they're letting someone basically get under their skin they're letting someone seduce them so i do feel like someone was um I can't think of the word that I want to use. Someone was vulnerable, I guess, to someone else's advances towards them. Again, I'm not trying to make this person sound like, oh, they were just an innocent victim. You know, they were helpless. No, that's not what I'm saying. Uh, but I just have to tell you that's the energy that I'm seeing here like a seductress, somebody that may even knew that they were seeing you and didn't care. So, yeah, that kind of energy. All right, let's see what else. Ooh, we have game over. That was a game changer is what I'm getting here. So I feel like someone got in the way. Third party energy, someone got in the way. Whether they knew about you or they didn't know about you, it doesn't matter. Their influence or them coming into your person's life, getting their attention, this changed things between the two of you. It created a game over situation. And we have bad deal. And this is the thing. I mean, you got, you got the shit into the stick. I'm going to tell you that you got a real bad deal because I feel like this person came in and, you know, maybe they told you that they were available or that they wanted a commitment, that they were looking for a relationship, whatever the situation may have been, or they just really led you to believe that you guys had a good thing going. And then before you knew it, it was like they were off to something else. All right, let's see what else. Yep. There's the betrayal. Yeah. Infidelity. So I do feel like there was cheating or a lie here where you did end up feeling betrayed because there's two people and, you know, you either saw it for yourself. You may have seen it after the fact. You may have found out about this after the fact, kind of like they told you they just need, I love the, I love the, the old, I need space. I need time. Oh God. <laughs> Sorry, I just have to laugh. I'm not saying it couldn't be true, but usually that is code for I met someone else <laughs> or I want to I want to screw around. That's what that means um, usually. So yeah, I feel like that could have been said to you and then you basically saw with your own eyes whether it was them and someone else out and about or you saw it through pictures on social media and you're just like, holy smokes, wow, why couldn't they just have told me that? So that's where the betrayal might have really been felt on your end and we have trance snap out of it Ooh, okay it's like all you saw is what i'm seeing here you couldn't stop replaying it over and over in your head it was just like a freaking nightmare is what i'm seeing here you allowed others in your business very interesting so um, there could have been other people involved, or this just means that this individual allowed this third party into your situation. So it's like 
they they let them in they they opened up the door and they let this person in and it just basically created a game over situation but you could have talked to people that knew this person there could have been maybe information or there could have been uh drama lies deception rumors or something and i just feel like when we allow other people into our business other people have motives and sometimes they can actually end up making matters worse so that's kind of interesting let's see what else attachment okay what i'm seeing here too you guys is that this person's maybe very like um i don't know avoidant style where they ran they didn't want to deal with this it may have really sparked an attachment for you as in you wanted to chase you wanted to hang on you wanted to try harder to maybe make this person fall in love with you again or to keep them or something it's not going to be for everybody but i feel like eventually you snapped out of that trance because you realized that this is bullshit and you didn't deserve this and that this person was just a fool basically for you know doing this to you and treating you this way you didn't deserve this I mean, no one deserves that. And yeah, there's something about people that are gossiping about you guys. There's friends or family members or somebody is creating some sort of drama, getting in your head, telling you shit, making it worse. So I don't know who that's who, or what that's about or who that's for, but that's for somebody. And, and that's the thing. Like I said, when people have motives, especially if they don't like the person that you're dating, they might end up just really elaborating or embellishing more and saying more than is necessary just to ensure that you're done with this person um, and you know they might think that they're doing it out of love but it's just really hurting you and making things worse I don't know that's kind of interesting so anyways let's go ahead and get some tarot cards all right let's see Okay, I feel like at some point in your connection, there was this happiness with the Ten of Cups. Like, I feel like you, the person watching the video, felt like, wow, like I really met the person. I really struck gold here. I really feel like I met my person, my soulmate, whatever. I feel like you definitely felt extremely happy. And this could indicate as well that your person did share those feelings too. Like they feel, they felt very happy, you know, at one time which might've made it just that much more um, heartbreaking when it was over because you're just like, I thought we shared the same feelings. Now we have the Count of Ashes, which is the uh, Knight of Pentacles. This is Virgo's energy. Cautious, interesting. I feel like you guys went from zero to 10 really fast, meaning that this could have been one of those situations where you you may have really known like, yes, this is, this is it. This is what I want. And just like really trusting your feelings. And I feel like this individual, it was opposite where they were like dragging their heels or they weren't really quite sure. So they were like letting you kind of take over and just take them on this ride, which is very interesting. But I just feel at the end of the day, especially if this individual is like a, an avoidant person, it may be that when things got too connected or too deep or you got too attached, perhaps they started slipping away or starting to you know, sabotage this or look elsewhere because they just either A, didn't want the commitment or B, maybe they just knew that they weren't going to be able to make you happy. So I kind of feel like maybe this individual just has a lot of issues when it comes to intimacy and relationships. All right, we have the three of pentacles. So, I mean, you could have met this person at work, but I feel like you guys were a good match at one time. I really do, especially in the beginning. When you guys came together, you guys had some really off the charts, like explosive chemistry. Physically, the relationship I feel was really good. On a deep soul, soul level, I feel like this was you and this was them. So I feel like they were kind of just stuck they were kind of remain or they remained in the physical that's kind of where their their feelings were in the physical i'm not trying to say they never had any feelings for you but i feel for you the person watching this video like you were all in you were that bleeding heart you were that real sensitive soul you feel things on a deep soul level you connect with people soul to soul this person i feel was very attracted to you but i feel like they kept it surface they kept it in the physical 
So there was definitely explosive chemistry here, but I feel like after a little bit, it may have worn off. Ooh, justice. I love the fact that we're actually getting this card in this reading today. Retribution. You will, you will get your retribution. Like you will get your justice is what I'm seeing. So however this person decided to handle the situation with you, whatever decisions that they made, I'm just getting here. They either have or will receive karma for this. And a part of this karma might be that you get your retribution. And we have death, execution. Ooh. So of course the death card is, well, this is Libra, by the way. This is um, Scorpio. Um, your connection could have taken place or started. We have 10, which could be October, but I have Virgo season, um, Libra season, and then Scorpio season, which literally we have 9, 10, 11. So it could have been a your relationship or your connection was about three months or it could just be that like it's highlighted in the autumn season for whatever reason i just have to put that out there but death execution to me obviously um this is how it should have ended like it should have ended with a truth somebody just basically telling the truth and they didn't so they they kind of went ex execution style and really created a lot of pain and heartache, very unnecessary. And I feel like there's still retribution to be paid because of that. So I feel like there is karma, that's a karmic debt, which is interesting, karmic justice. <laughs> that's the name of this reading. That is destined to be paid, as in it's meant to be paid by this person. Like you're meant to be paid, uh, paid back, but not karmically, but just you're, you're meant to get that retribution so that is pretty cool i love that so now we're going to go into what caused this person to say or do the things that they did so let's kind of go a little bit on a deeper psychological level with this individual and just kind of see like what makes them up what was their freaking issue why did they act the way that they did what was their their deal what did i say in spirits just confirming it in the reading this person is an avoidant look it up you guys look up avoidant attachment style holy smokes the thing is if you are an anxious or anxious style attachment if you deal with an avoidant it's I swear it will start a frenzy within you when they start to pull this crap. You know what I mean? So yeah, this person has big time um, issues. They're an avoidant is what we're getting today. We have fixation. Very interesting. I feel like this person, when they are fixated on you, they are all into you. But when they are done, they're done. They go like this. It's like a snap and it's just like, it's it never happened and i feel that's probably why we got the make believe card which is did i just make it up i thought this person was super into me like just the other day they were talking to me about the future they were telling me how amazing i was and now they're like sending me a text today telling me it's over like what the hell yeah so this person they they tend to feel things in the moment and they get super fixated on what's in front of them but if something else grabs their attention i feel like they'll get fixated on that that's what I'm seeing here. And it might be that if there's something that comes up that they don't like, they may not have the, the capacity to be able to look past it. They were fixated maybe on something negative, something that maybe you couldn't change. Let's just say your age, and I'm just making this up. Maybe they were younger and you were older and they were very fixated on the fact that, you know what, maybe their parents or their friends were going to look upon that situation and they were going to judge it. They could have been fixated on a fact like that, something you couldn't change, which is your age. Or maybe you had a child or something, just something you couldn't change. Okay, this person transferred their crap onto you. So if you felt like your person, especially towards the end, was kind of cutting you down 
and maybe saying certain things to you where like they used to build you up and say really wonderful things that suddenly they're just kind of like pointing out the negatives or almost like, like I said, cutting you down. This is because they're transferring their crappy energy onto you because it's ugly. It doesn't feel good. They don't want to feel it. They don't want to deal with it. So they just transfer it onto you or they even transfer just their situation onto someone else, meaning that they hop from one person to the next, to the next, to the next. That could be this person. Person. last one we have alienation so they could have alienated you alienated themselves made you feel like you were on the outskirts made you feel like you were not in like the in crowd like you weren't weren't somebody they were going to and um like invite to their family functions or invite into their social circle you could have felt on the outside and i feel like this person may purposely do that and the reason why is because like i said they're not necessarily serious about anyone so they're just going to basically keep everybody on the edge is what i'm seeing here all right but they may also feel like an outsider. They feel alienated. They feel like they need to go off into the world and wander around alone and that whole freaking, you know, scenario. Pride. At the end of the day, this person, their status, because we have this like little cloud here with this person with their, um, their crown on king status they see themselves as a king they see themselves as somebody who's above or higher or better than other people but this individual they define themselves by their achievements so it's what they what they might have achieved in their body so if they're like somebody who has worked really hard on their physical appearance. I mean, yes, that is achievement and that's something to be proud of, but it's not everything. What about your soul? Is your soul dog shit? Because if it is, who cares what the outside looks like? So to me, this person's focus is all on the wrong thing. It's on money, materialism, superficial crap, the outer world, the car, the clothes, you know, the right job, etc. And that could have been something where let's just say you didn't have a shit ton of money or you didn't have um, a certain like certification or college education or the right family or come from this or come from that. This person could have gotten fixated on that and said, you know what, this just isn't for me. So very superficial. I cannot control or I cannot control my anger, rage issues. So deep down inside, this individual might have a lot of anger. They have a lot of anger issues. And th these rage issues, you guys, could be something that has been stuffed down from childhood. Maybe some things happened to them when they were younger and they just you know, never really address those things or dealt with these things. So they have a lot of issues and they hold a lot of things in. Maybe they're afraid that if they're just truthful and honest, that they're just going to lose their shit and completely lose control. So I do feel like this individual is probably a control freak or they just really um, are, they're tightly wound. And I just feel like they're not being authentic. They're not really truly letting anybody in because of these issues, because they're afraid they're going to lose control and they have a lot of anger towards something. So I feel like they transfer that onto other people. But really what it is, is the inability to deal with one's own stuff. Uh, yeah, see this person here, money is important to them. The car you drive, the money you have, your freaking status. To me, it's like, I don't know. I'm just getting fame. Um, somebody that you know, sees themselves as an individual that knows the right people or hangs out in the right crowd, drives the right car. And when I say the right, <laughs> there's nothing right about it. It's just what they deem to be important or just the best. So yeah, this individual has some sort of ideas about su success and they measure success through material things. It has or I should say it had, because we're focusing on the past here. Um, it, there's no substance here. So I just feel like they were very surface level, very empty, very void. And, um, you know, they, they were just kind of avoiding really making a deposit into either a relationship or a really good person such as yourself. And they were just basically avoiding all of their issues and they had too much pride to maybe admit something. And so they just ran for the hills or ran to maybe something they thought was better uh, in the end. So yeah, that is what we're seeing so far. So now we're going to go into, is this person truly sorry for what they did to you in the past? Let's look at this, you guys. I don't know. 
is this person truly sorry for what they did to you in the past as in right now so I don't know how long ago this was, but have they had time to really reflect on this? And do they feel badly? Okay, so we do have imprisonment, trapped, confined, and isolated. I feel like if some of you guys were in separation with this individual, especially during um, 2020, uh, because of the big thing that happened, then I feel like during that isolation period, during that lockdown period, I really feel like that could have been a time for them to really reflect on their life because maybe they didn't have the same, um, you know, social gathering or their, their social circle going on. Things have changed. Maybe they couldn't physically go to work. So there was that isolation period where they just had nothing to do but to really think about things. So it could be that you came up at that, at that time. Um, okay, yeah, I do feel like this person had some sort of an epiphany with the star. The star is spirit. The star is the higher self. The star means we're being guided. Um, we are seeing things from a higher perspective. So I definitely feel like while this person had some downtime, they had an opportunity to really think about things and maybe how they could have done it better, okay? Maybe they wish they would have done it better different. Okay. So we have piano, talent, purpose, skill set. Uh, this individual may be like creative, um, artistic in some way. Maybe they're a musician that maybe they're an artist, freelance, something. And so they have some time when they're by themselves in isolation to work alone. And I feel like maybe when they're in that mode of doing something, it could be when they really have time to think about themselves, their past. And I feel like you are included in that. And I feel like this individual has had some sort of enlightenment around you and what went down. And they do wish that things had gone better. I do feel like they are sorry um, we're going to get more cards here, but I do feel hopeful that this person is, is more sorry than not. Okay. Because they did experience joy with you at one time. And I also feel like they know that you really, truly loved them. You really, truly cared about them. And unfortunately it's like they <laughs> dashed your hopes and kind of dashed your dreams by doing what they did. And so the star in tarot is about healing. So I feel like in some way, this person does perhaps hope that one day that maybe you guys can be guided together again, or that somehow they can fix this with you. So I don't think that somebody that wasn't sorry would really have a care in the world or hope to fix anything. So I do feel like this individual leans more towards being sorry or knowing what they did was pretty messed up. May even be that especially if they're a musician or a poet or something where they're actually writing or creating something that they've actually off of your experience here have created a work of art off of their feelings about this. Peel back the layers. Yeah, this person had some time to really peel back the layers because remember, they were very surface level when they were dealing with you before. So they've had some time to really peel back those layers. And um, that's what I'm seeing while they've been in isolation or while they're alone with their thoughts, creating something, they're really in their feels. They're really in their deeper selves. Burdens and hardship. Yeah, they peeled back their layers and they got into their baggage. I feel like this person has gone through some sort of a shift or change. You know, they brought a lot of baggage to your connection for sure. And um, they've had a lot of hardships in their life because of it. So it might be that after you, they may have continued to have more hardship. And maybe because of all of those things, they have finally decided to take, you know, peel back those layers and start taking a look as to why things always fall apart, why things aren't working out for them, why they're so unhappy, why they're so miserable, etc. So they could have done some sort of work on themselves. Mm -hmm. I do feel like this person has changed. I feel like before it's like, I just, I am who I am. This is just who I am. I'm a creature of, ha of my habit. Change of habits. They have had some sort of change of their habits. 
So they've learned a thing or two about themselves. And I feel like they have made some sort of change within themselves for the better. So I do feel like, um, they definitely feel sorry for what they've done. We also have now the snowbird out in the cold. So they know that they put you out in the cold. They know that um, it's kind of like this creature comes in, right? And, and, and like for survival, you know, they end up attacking another animal to survive. I feel in some way this individual kind of looks at themselves as like a wolf coming in or like a bigger bird coming in and just stealing a baby bird and to me it's like that baby bird was you like you didn't deserve that they put you out in the cold they made you feel abandoned they made you feel like you were the big loser or that you weren't good enough for them so i do feel like that is something where they do realize that they were a real nasty person back then and they peeled back the layers and really looked at that shadow aspect of themselves also too if things have gone ice cold between the two of you, as in this is like a, a connection that's frozen in time now, you haven't reached out to them, they're not reaching out to you, there is this out in the cold feeling. So, you know, the warmth of you is no longer there. I mean, they may reflect on your memory and get some warmth and joy from that, but the circumstances have, have gone cold. You may be an ice queen to them right now to where they they don't really have anything, you know, on your end. They don't have anything to work with because they don't know how you feel. So is this person truly sorry for what they did? What I'm getting here is that if you've gone cold and icy towards this person in a way, they know that they deserve it because they did put you through hell. Yeah, wow. I definitely feel, you guys, that this person is sorry. This, to me, is somebody who's definitely reviewed the past. Karma. Mm. This is just so funny that the name of this reading is Karmic Justice. And we got the Karma card with Justice Retribution. And now we have another Karma card saying Karma Review. This connection is up for Karmic Review. The Judgment card is all about resurrection, and it's about forgiveness. It's about forgiving yourself, but also the forgiveness of other people. So I feel you guys that um, this individual at one point in time in your life may resurrect, like they may come back. This, this connection may be resurrected at some point, okay? So you guys have an opportunity to review this. They have reviewed their old, their old um, behaviors and they've looked back on, on it for sure. And I feel like they've been afflicted over the things that they did specifically to you. So I certainly can tell you that I do feel like they are sorry. Yeah, I like this because to me, this is like, you know, coming full circle with yourself, right? The Fool is about reactivation, maybe opening up a new chapter of your story, turning the page, seeing what happens next, rewriting the story rewriting the story and, and turning it into a um, happy story instead of a freaking horror story, right? Yeah, this person I feel definitely has reflected back on you with this past because we have the Six of Cups, Memories and Reunion. So they think back on your connection. They've reviewed what they've done. I do feel like they have something within them that would want to reactivate this and want to have some sort of reunion with you. I don't feel like they like the way that they were in the past with you. So this may be a separation that's been a long time. So they've had a long time to really look at themselves and go through some major changes. And then we have the five of wands. So that five of wands energy is conflict and, and competition. There may be other partners now. You may have moved on, possibly. Sometimes I see this when there's competition in the way, meaning like, you know, there's competition for your affection. This person wouldn't just be able to come back into your life and say, hey, let's let's work it out. There may be something in the way. Um, but even if there's not someone else in the way, there's conflict between the two of you. And it would really take a lot of courage for this person to reach out to you because I feel like you guys would definitely, you know, you would have to face each other. And we know that's something that they avoided in the past. There's an opportunity to have a redo here. There's an opportunity to do this right. 
Last one, high priestess. It's unknown. This person keeps this to themselves. They haven't reached out, but I feel like they definitely think about you a lot. They think about what went down and what they would like to do differently, if they could have done things differently, how it might have gone. And I also feel like, you know, there might be some reason that they are not reaching out to you, especially if they know that you're not available. That's just what I got for some of you guys. But is this person sorry? I feel like they definitely are. So now that we've established that, we're going to go deeper into these messages. We're going to go over onto the extended. I will put this link in the description box down below, as well as pin it to the top comment in the comment section. But this is what we're going to go into over there. Something that they are hiding from and are afraid to deal with. Also a snapshot of the karma your person has received so far for their actions towards you. So we are going to see what their karma has been. Then we're going to see if they had an opportunity to explain themselves to you. What would they communicate as well as the current likelihood that they will ever return and apologize for their behavior. Wow. So guys, if you'd like to join me over there, please do so. And thank you guys so much for choosing to watch this reading today. I really appreciate it. You guys take care. Bye-bye.